Okay, here's the, the problem solving video for problem 222. And it says find VA. You see the voltage VA labeled on the diagram. And if you'll examine the circuit, you will note that it's a single loop circuit that has a dependent source. So we're going to utilize the problem solving strategy on page 36 for dependent, for single loop circuits. And then we're going to u also utilize the problem solving strategy on page 53 for circuits with dependent sources. So if you uh, look at the problem solving strategy on page 36, step one says to find a current I of T. And we know from KCL there's only one current in this single loop circuit. And we're going to assume it either clockwise or counterclockwise. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to assume a current I1 flowing counterclockwise as shown on the circuit diagram. So that was our first step. Define a current I1. Now, the second step in the problem solving strategy on page 36 says, Using Ohm's law to find a voltage across each resistor in terms of the defined current. So let's do that in the circuit. Uh, so for this resistor, we'll have a voltage with this polarity from Ohm's law that's 5K times I1. I'm not going to worry about the voltage VA yet. Once we solve for the current, we'll work our way back to the voltage VA. Okay, For this resistor, by Ohm's law, the voltage polarity is given as such, and it's 10K times I1. And then for our last resistor on the bottom down here, in terms of the current, the voltage is 5K I1. I'm not going to worry about Vx yet. So I'm just following step two says, using Ohm's law to find a voltage across each resistor in terms of the defined current. Now we've done that. Okay. Uh, step three says apply KVL to the single loop circuit. And if we look at the problem solving strategy on 53, step one says when writing the KVL or KCL equation for the network, treat the dependent source as though it were an independent source. Okay, so this dependent source, we're going to treat it as an independent source and leave it as a variable in terms of Vx to begin with. So now let's start at this corner of the circuit. Let's move around the circuit counterclockwise. Okay, and so now we're at, at step three of the problem solving strategy on 36, and we're going to make use of step one on uh, the problem solving strategy in page 53. So let's apply KVL now. So if we start we'll have a voltage drop 5K I1 across this resistor. Here, uh, we encounter the minus sign. We have a voltage rise. So we have minus 2VX. Here is a voltage drop of 10K times I1. Then we have a voltage drop of 12. Then as we come around the circuit, here we have a voltage drop in terms of the current. I'm not going to worry about this Vx yet. I'm going to write this in terms of the current. So when I see that, I see a voltage drop of 5K times I1. And as we move around to complete the loop, we see the voltage rise here. So we have minus 36. And by Kirchhoff's voltage law, that's equal to zero. So now, let's collect some terms. So in terms of the current, we have 20K times I1 minus 2VX is equal to 24. Now, if we look at step two, the problem solving strategy on page uh, 53, it says write the equation that specifies the relationship of the dependent source to the controlling parameter. Now, if we look at our variable down here, here's our resistor and the voltage uh, across it, and Vx is our controlling variable. If we compare the polarities there, 
Here's this voltage 5K I1. Notice that VX has opposite polarity. So based on that, VX is equal to minus 5K I1. And we get that by looking at the polarity. Notice this voltage. We got this from Ohm's law. Current's flowing that way. It gives us a voltage 5K I1 with that polarity. VX has the opposite polarity, so VX is equal to minus 5K I1. Now, let's substitute this in to our equation. So we'll have 20K I1 minus 2 times minus 5K I1 equal to 24. And if we do the math, we'll have 30K I1 equal to 24. Therefore, I1 is 24 over 30K, or 0.8 milliamps. Okay, so now Vx is minus 5K times 0.8 milli. So Vx is minus 4 volts. So now we know the value of Vx. Now, we need to solve for Va. And we notice that Va is the voltage between those two points. Okay? And by Kirchhoff's voltage law, Va is equal to 2 Vx minus 5k i1 so we have 2 times minus 4 minus 5k times 0.8 milli and if we go through and do the calculation that gives us va is equal to minus 12 